Hey guys, welcome back. So finally, Samsung is going all out next year with its flagship Galaxy S22 series where these devices will get major improvements in terms of cameras and performance. Qualcomm has also unveiled its high-end CPU Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 on which we'll be talking about. But before that, if you haven't subscribed to this channel, make sure to subscribe to get more daily updates and give a like if you enjoy watching this video. So as you guys know, Qualcomm has officially announced the Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 which definitely brings some crazy upgrades over the last gen Snapdragon 888 where this new CPU bring insane level of gains for the cameras as well as in the performance. Surprisingly, this chipset is based on Samsung's 4 nanometer fabrication which offers 30% more power efficiency and 20% better CPU power. The camera ISP has been upgraded to 18-bit which previously was at 14-bit with the Snapdragon 888. This new 18-bit ISP can shoot more lighter and more darker photos which results in better dynamic range. And this explains why Samsung is now able to utilize the 108 megapixel camera on its full potential for the Galaxy S21 Ultra. This chip also supports 8K HDR video at 30 frames per second with a new bokeh engine that brings portrait mode while shooting videos and the night mode is even improved up to 5 times better than the last generation. Some information from I universe, he says, Galaxy S22 Ultra will share some camera sensors with the Galaxy S22 and S22 Plus except the primary 50 megapixel camera and 10 megapixel periscope zoom lens means both of the devices will also have some interesting features in terms of cameras just like the Galaxy S22 Ultra. Now comes to the performance, Snapdragon 8 Gen 1 offers insane 60% more GPU power which means people can enjoy playing heavy games on high frame rates with without any lags or FPS drop. Features like volumetric rendering will make the game much more realistic where open world or games with realistic graphics can offer seamless experience on a smartphone just like any other gaming PC. So this new high-end CPU from Qualcomm can take the Galaxy S22 Ultra on the next level where Samsung is the only brand which has the potential of utilizing all this raw power for smooth performance. Once again, heating is the only thing which will Will decide whether the CPU performs better or not, where now Samsung will be adding vapor chamber cooling to its S22 Ultra for the heat management, which is not so surprising because the company has already done this in the past. So let's see if this is gonna work or not. Now talking about some features, the Galaxy S22 Ultra will offer a 6.8 inch display with 1440p resolution, 2 times dynamic AMOLED panel and 120Hz adaptive refresh rate. The handset is also set to be backed by a massive 5000 mAh battery with 45 watt fast wire charging which can charge up from 0 to 70% in 35 minutes which is not so fast but still better than the previous one 15 watt wireless charging and 4.5 watt of reverse wireless charging of course not to mention the integration of the S Pen is the best feature for the Galaxy S22 Ultra so there you go guys if you have any questions related to the smartphone do let me know in the comment section if if you end up liking this information then do give it a thumbs up and subscribe to this channel to get more daily tech updates. I'll catch you in the next one. Till then, peace out.